So here we're going to look at how different types of macromolecules are formed. It's important to realize there's four main classifications to macromolecules, and they are DNA and RNA, also known as nucleic acids, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, which also you may know as fats. So a, what is a macromolecule? Well, they're carbon-based. So they consist of a carbon-based core with specialized groups attached. I'm going to go over some of those specialized groups, but because we're talking here about macromolecules, it's an organic molecule, and here the organic is meaning that there is a carbon-based uh, core to the molecule. These groups have specialized properties and are referred to as functional groups. So it's a carbon-based core, as I mentioned here, consisting of special groups attached. What those special groups are, are functional groups. And here's a couple main ones um, located right here. Functional group, we have the hydroxyl group, the methyl group, the carboxyl, uh, amino, the phosphate. Uh, these are different types of groups. And you can see that they have very distinctive structures. Now, it's important that these structures are defined because these particular structures will define the various properties. So hydroxyl group, we have this OH attached to R is kind of that variable group here. Uh, for example, methyl group, this uh, variable chain is attached to a CH3. Uh, this gives you just some examples of some of the functional groups related to macromolecules. So macromolecules can be formed or they can be broke down. Macromolecules are made by the process called dehydration synthesis. So this is important to remember. Dehydration is the loss of water. When we're losing water, we see an OH and an H, also known as H2O, leaving. And here we now have two monomers, two single, a monomer one, monomer two, are now linked together by a covalent bond. So here we have two single monomers that are now being linked together here. And this is dehydration synthesis. We're synthesizing or putting these two monomers together. The opposite of that, with a breakdown, our macromolecules are broken by a process called hydrolysis. Here we have our two monomers linked together. If we're adding water, we're now creating or breaking uh, into two monomers. So you can kind of break this word apart into hydrolysis. Hydro meaning we're taking in water. Lysis means to lyse or to cut or to break. Both of these processes, both um, hydration, dehydration synthesis, we're removing water to join two monomers together, and hydrolysis, where we're adding water to kind of break apart this um, in these monomers that are linked together, breaking apart that linkage into our individual monomers, both of these require enzymes, and we'll have other lectures to talk about those. But key part here, dehydration synthesis, dehydration, removal of water to put things together, to synthesize them, and hydrolysis, taking in water here to separate out into two individual monomers. Organisms are primarily made of four kinds of macromolecules. It's important to be able to identify these. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Remember, nucleic acids includes both DNA and RNA. These are termed macromolecules, and they're the basic building materials and machinery for a cell. So we're working our way up from kind of small atoms to molecules to now macromolecules, and working our way into these are the primary um, molecules that are used for both the machinery and also the building blocks for the cell.